Phillips Credit Union. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Happy Friday. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're going to have a good time tonight as well. It's going to be a, a wild weekend. We got Joe Burrow playing in his second ever playoff game tomorrow. Divisional playoffs against the Titans with Jamar Chase. Hopefully Tyler Shelvin will be active for this game. Three 2019 Tigers participating in that game. You know, there's a lot of uh, interesting... Uh, there's still Devin White in the playoffs. There's still Kevin Minter in the playoffs. There's still OBJ. There's still Tyron Matthew. Still Clyde edwards Lair with a chance to come back into this season. Darrell Williams is kicking ass. A ton of NFL SU Tigers that we've been keeping our eye on at LSUodyssey.com. Got to check out our, our piece about Jamar and Joe's uh, first round win over Oakland in their playoff debuts. Um, we were really proud of that piece. Put a lot of work and effort into that one. And yeah, absolutely. Really recommend that to you. And, uh, you know, but what I want to focus on right now is who are going to be LSU's most dominant 2022 freshmen. I'm not talking guys who, you know, come in and and catch one touchdown, you know, have a, have one big game. I'm talking immediate contributors, maybe not potent, maybe not immediate starters, but immediate contributors who are going to have fantastically elevated freshman seasons. We saw Mason Smith have four sacks in, as a freshman. He became an all SEC freshman all American. You know, three sacks in one game on uh, Coach Ed Orgeron's son, Cody, against McNeese. Hat trick, a sack trick, hat trick of sacks. Then he gets one against Florida as well. Huge impact. Mason Smith, you were able to move him from DT to do, to DE. I mean, because of our huge injury problems as well with Ali Gay going down and then Andre Anthony, we absolutely needed another body. And not only another body, but an elite body. Mason Smith has that. Mason Smith is that. So you look at him as being, you know, a bar. And then, you know, Kayshawn Butte, 2020. Kayshawn Booty's 2020 season was absolutely ex- exactly what I'm talking about. Jack Besh from last year. You know, Malik Neighbors from last year. You know, some guys who, who wouldn't hit that bar but still were, were good. Deion Smith, you know, obviously transferring from LSU, but still that kind of level is just under what we're looking for. And so when I'm looking at who are going to be those 2022 bona fide you know, contributors, dominant devastators for LSU. You know, I got to look at the first name that comes off the sheet. For me, the first name that kind of explodes off the sheet is LaTerrence Welch out of Acadiana, LT Welch. This young man, I feel like not only will LSU need him in 2022, need him to play advanced reps, we might need him to start. Okay? That's how porous, that's how bad our cornerback position is, even with the transfers. Even with the added transfers, it doesn't matter. Because it's about having proven guys out there. Mecky Garner, um, Greg Brooks Jr., while they may come in highly touted from ULL and Arkansas, you know, Greg Brooks Jr. hasn't played a snap of uh, serious Power 5 SEC football yet. Okay? 
So there's there's some names, but nothing proven whatsoever. Demarius McGee. I mean, we saw him show some some signs of life in that Texas Bowl because he was, you know, of course, forced to start. So we saw some something out of him in the tackling abilities, but Demarius McGee was picked apart in the passing game. And you know, we only we only got one corner. We only got one corner out of that entire class. One corner out of that entire 2021 class. And you and you and you're wondering why Corey Raymond was let to was let to walk. You know, one corner out of the 2021 class. I understand we had Cordell Flott, Dwight McLaughlin, and Eli Ricks most likely coming back. And with LT Welch coming in as well. But one corner out of 2021. Come on. Come on. So I feel like LT Welch. He's had some injuries in high school. He's had to overcome. I think that's going to make him even more intense. This kid wants the stage. He wants the spotlight. I think LT Welch is going to have a hell of a freshman year for LSU. I think he's going to have at least a few interceptions, a few pass breakups. I think he'll probably force a fumble. And I think he'll probably rack up around 30 to 40 tackles when all is said and done. I'm not saying he's going to be a day one starter, but, you know, why not? Why couldn't he? I could see him starting for LSU day one as a freshman. You know, I really could. So I take that back. I really could see him start day one as a freshman. Absolutely. I think he'll be day one fiery contributor for LSU who's capable of making huge plays. So LT Welch, definitely, definitely a Tiger you have to watch out for. Quincy Wiggins, defensive end. You know, there's going to be Ali Gay, of course. There's going to be B.J. Ojolari. You know, Bryce Langston. um, Sony Fanua. But outside of Gay Ojolari, you know, the names kind of dwindle in excitement until you get to Quincy Wiggins. You know, Xavier Carter is there as well. Xavier Carter looks like he could be fantastic, but he's kind of been retooled as a linebacker, which is kind of interesting. It makes him a little bit more of a versatile athlete. Philip Webb, that's a guy that we need to see play. Savion Jones, shown brightly in a few moments as a freshman, um, will he receive sustained defensive end reps? We got Mekki Wingo also coming into the... Um, Makai Wingo, sorry, I pronounced his name wrong. Makai Wingo coming in at defensive end from Missouri. You know, all SEC is a freshman as well. Mason Smith can fold out to the defensive end position too. LSU have some dogs off the edge, okay? We have some absolute dogs off the edge. The thing I'm wondering about, the thing I'm really... You know, can LSU after Guy, after Gay and Olarji, and Olarji, after Gay and Ojolari, can LSU figure out who that next uh, third and fourth guys are like bona fide? Because for me, you go after Gay and Ojolari. Who are those guys? Who are, who's up next? For me, I'd like to see Philip Webb be in there. Okay, I'd like to see. Philip Webb finally be given those chances and, and rise. Sony Fanua is probably going to get a lot of reps too. But Quincy Wiggins, the 2022 class freshman, I think as a freshman, this young man is going to offer so much to LSU. It's going to be special. I think he's going to show off incredible athleticism, incredible range. I think he's going to you're going to see him affect the passing game. You know, a very statless 
thing for a defensive end, but something that makes defensive ends either elite or not elite. Quincy, he can do that. You know, unbelievable pressuring as well. 11 and a half sacks as a senior. I expect Quincy to have an amazing freshman year. I expect him to at least pick up five to six sacks. Okay, five to six sacks, a few batted down passes, seven or eight tackles for loss. I expect Quincy, you know, find reps few and far between just because of how how deep LSU is in that spot. But I think when you do see him play, he's going to shine and shine brightly. Part two coming soon.